Hi guys. So in the last video we had been discussing how to find the variance and the standard deviation of a given data. Now in this video we'll be discussing how to find the skewness and kurtosis of a given data. Before that we need to understand what skewness or kurtosis is. Now skewness is simply a measure of asymmetry in the data. As a positive or a negative value of skewness denotes that it denotes that if the curve is either inclined towards the right or the left okay a skew a value of skewness if the value of skewness is zero it simply denotes that the curve is perfectly symmetrical okay it is not inclined towards the right or the left okay now uh, what are what is kurtosis kurtosis is basically a measure of the outliers or the extreme values in the data okay so uh, a lower value or a negative value of uh, kurtosis denotes that the curve of the data would be flatter more flat okay and if the value of kurtosis is high it it denotes that the curve would have a higher peak as compared to a flatter one obviously okay now let's say we denote we want to find the skewness and the kurtosis of this hypothetical data here okay now for for both of them we have inbuilt functions in excel simply type in equals to sign and then type in the word s k e w now again we have two functions here where we use skew.p when we have the whole population now here we have scores of 10 students of the whole uh, whole of the 10 students therefore we use skew.p here and then inside brackets select this this column here complete the brackets press enter and that's it you get the value of skewness here now again same in the case of kurtosis as well type in equals to sign type in the word k u r t select the function here and inside brackets select this column complete the brackets and press enter that's it you get the formula you get the value of kurtosis as well that's it for this video thank you